When we were kids, we'd always spin in circles. The more we spun around, the more dizzy we'd get. Sometimes it was a challenge to see who would fall over or who could stay upright. When I was a young seven or eight, I remember this would be all I do with my time. Spinning, spinning, spinning. One particular day, me and my mom were home. She was cooking and told me to go off and play. Obediently, I obeyed. I walked into my living room and began spinning around. I was trying to focus my eyes on my surroundings, which was, of course, hard. I could make out certain things like the couch or the te television, but as I kept spinning, I noticed something out of place. I tried to focus my eyes as I spun, and all I could make out was a tall, dark figure. I kept spinning, and each time, it got closer. It started, started at the far end of the room, but now it was only a few feet away. I stopped spinning and looked in its direction. The world was still spinning, but I was standing still. The creature was moving back and forth with my vision. I closed my eyes, and when I opened them, it was gone. Mommy, mommy, someone's in the living room, I said. Oh, honey, don't be silly. No one's here but you and I. But mommy, I saw it. It was tall and dark and sweetie, go and go play. I'm busy. I walked away, upset my mother won't listen to me. I steered away from the living room and went to my bedroom instead. I turned on the light and closed the door behind me, tossing all my toys into my closet. I made room for me to spin around. I began spinning and after a few rounds I saw it again. I tried pushing it from my mind. Of course, nothing is there. I closed my eyes and kept spinning, spinning until I felt breath on my face. My eyes opened and right in front of me was this creature. My eyes still trying to reset caught a few details. This thin gray face, sulking in eyes that look like black holes and a white grin containing razor sharp teeth. I looked closer before screaming. I swear there was blood on its teeth. Mom! Mom! And within a blink of an eye, it was gone. My mother came rushing in. What? What is it? I was so angry and scared that, I, that it was gone that I couldn't find words to say. That's enough. I'm not coming up here again. She walked out and I tried calling to her. My arms outstretched, but the words were caught in my throat. She left, my only safety. At this point, I was so scared, uh, I was frozen in place. I was so scared to blink, scared to move, scared to speak. Eventually, I had the courage to run out of my room, into the kitchen. I sat in the corner and watched my mom, too scared to do anything. I waited until bedtime. Mother brought me to my room and tucked me in. I'll get you a glass, glass of water. She exited the room and I got settled into my bed. She came back. Here you go, Cupcake. She had her arm out trying to give me the water, but I didn't move. Baby? I still didn't respond. I heard her set it on the table besides me. Good night, honey. Sweet dreams. The door closed and my only salvation was gone. I hadn't said a word because when she left, it appeared in the corner of my room. When she came back, it followed her over to my bed. When she left, again, it closed the door behind her. I remember the look it gave me when it turned around. It walked over to the end of my bed and watched me. All night, I was scared to fall asleep. Spin! It said. Its voice was so foreign, but I had understood, and I didn't want to disobey. I slowly crawled out of bed. I began spinning around. It got closer and closer. The next thing I remember, I awoke. I was laying on the floor with sunlight coming through the window. I sat up and looked around. The creature wasn't there. 
I felt a horrible pain on my head. I touched the spot where it hurt and dried blood fell into my hand. I must have hit my head on the table next to my bed. I stood but fell down again. I looked on the floor and saw a large puddle of blood where I was laying. I was so lightheaded and dizzy. I crawled out of my room in search of for my mother. I looked in her bedroom but she was gone. I slid down the stairs. I searched around but couldn't find her. Everything got blurry. And there, there it was again. It's okay, it whispered. I fell onto my face and the last thing I felt was a heavy weight on my back and breath on my neck. My world went blurry and faded to blackness. Who knows how long I was out. I lost a lot of blood when my mom came out of the bathroom, finding me on the floor. I heard a scream and felt my body move. She must have been shaking me, but I couldn't see. My face hurt. It felt like tears were going down my face. I reached up to feel, but instead I felt empty holes where my eyes should have been.